lot of luggage you got there. Three nights is a lot. <laughs> it's a lot of luggage. <laughs> <laughs> They're not mine. This is the amount of gear that we have. It's quite a bit of gear. So we're going to be taking all of this gear on the ferry and we're going to go two hours up the lake and we're going to be camping for the next three nights. And there's nine of us, so that's why we have that much gear. Give us a break. All of this stuff right here is for our one group. Okay, so. You would think that this is the luggage for the entire ferry, but no. it's just for our group, just us. All right guys, so we just arrived in Stahekin, which is in the North Cascades. We took a two airy Stahekin, Stahekin, my bad, Stahekin. And it's a two hour ferry ride um, up the beautiful lake. And we're now taking our army's worth of gear supply and hiking two and a half, no, not, how, how far? Quarter mile. Quarter mile, okay, not two and a half miles. Two and a half miles. <laughs> That'd be a little intense, but still, look at all this. <laughs> I feel like I should have more stuff, too. <laughs> yeah, what the hell are you doing? I'm just filming. The influencer. I'm just filming here. The useless cameraman, as always. Spot. There's our view. Now that, it's not a bad view, if you ask me. It's great. Pretty good, eh? Yeah. I'll just run in. <laughs> I'd like to see that. Okay guys, so let me fill you in a little bit on what's going on. Me, Tessa, as well as seven other people are in the North Cascades on a very remote lake called Lake Chelan in a little town called Stahekin. The only way to access this area is via ferry and we had to like pack all of our gear into those totes in that massive cooler. You guys saw how ridiculous that was like a total show. We got off the ferry and like there's literally people taking pictures because it just looked so ridiculous. Anyways, we're going to be here for the next three days or so and we had to book this reservation like months in advance because it is very hard to snag these reservations. It's the 4th of July weekend. It's going to be fun. We're going to do some paddle boarding. We're going to do some hiking and you know we're going to be doing some good eating. Chilling, having a good time. So we have this spot over here. We got this spot over here. We've got this spot over here. This spot is basically gonna be the group hangout spot, as you'll notice. There's a lot of tree coverage, so it's very shady. It's gonna be like 90 degrees every day, so we decided that the shady spot would be the group hangout spot, the eating spot, the chilling spot, and then we got another camp spot somewhere up there. So as you can see, We've occupied a lot of different camp spots. Look at these cute little gummy frogs. Actually, I shouldn't say little, that is a big gummy. 
Have you guys seen a gummy that big? Oh, it's you in there. <laughs> Sick. It's like a perfect little fishing boat. What do you guys think? Next purchase? Yeah. <laughs> you realize he, he probably did not yeah. this. I think we can paddleboard this, guys. I think we can Well, we were wanting to go out and paddleboard today, but as you guys could clearly tell from the footage, there's like a freaking hurricane going on right now. So it's not looking likely, unless we want to risk jumping into the water or getting knocked off our boards into the water. It's really pretty out here though. Guys later, but I think we're gonna bike. Bike oh. data. First dinner of the trip. Oh, sure. We got beef, fish, yes. Szechuan sauce. Chef Sue over here. Thank you, thank you, Sue. Chef Sue, this looks so good. Sue Chef. Sue Chef or Chef Sue? Sue Chef Sue. Sue Chef Sue. Sue Chef Sue. Sue Chef Sue. Sue Good morning, y'all. It's a beautiful day here in Stahican, and today the whole squad rented these bicycles. We're gonna be heading 10 miles up the road. And we're gonna see what we can find. Yeah. Protect from the sun. Protect. Protect. That little sailboat. Thing's sick. Is it on? Is it no, on? No, it's not. Is it on? Not yet. No, it's on. <laughs> this is an absolutely idyllic little plot of land here. The guy who owns it is so cool. He just lives here on six acres, has this gorgeous garden With his and goats. a bunch of farm animals. Or not a bunch, he has like what? Like six, goats. six goats, a cat. And bees. That's the life. That's the life right here. Thank you. Oh, it smells so good in here. <sighs> mm. I already ate so much breakfast, but you can't pass up a handmade apple pie. I mean, if we're gonna bike 20 miles, we gotta at least put a few more pastries on this. Yeah, we gotta fuel up for our 20 mile ride. <laughs> oh, don't worry about it. You can. Oh, God. Start. My fingers are so. I've been tasting just, everyone's. Just go in. Okay. Just have at it. 
Other spots for nine. The spot that we're currently at is called Rainbow Falls and it's one of the main attractions of this area. It's like 300 foot waterfall. And now we're hiking up this steep trail to get a slightly better view. That's just what you do. Back at it. Oh, we could shoot that gap, no problem. Yeah. Oh, we're doing it. We're running that. cabins guys looks like you could rent them now how cool would that be let me know if anybody's interested in seeing videos where I go stay at these cool cabin type dwellings there's actually a lot up here in the Pacific Northwest of just very aesthetic beautiful cabins in the middle of the woods so if you guys are into that let me know we'll make it happen as you can see, our group of nine people has officially split up. It's just Tess and I right now. Man, this this is really something else though. This is so beautiful. Yeah. That being said, we are gonna start heading back to camp because it's lunchtime. was a lovely 18 mile bike ride and we even stopped by at the bakery again on the way back to get some pastries for later. Now, it's time to hop in the water. Taco setup going here. Oh my gosh. I don't think I've mentioned this, but you've probably gathered this much from the footage so far, but everyone in this group loves to cook and eat. So each meal has been just way over the top, even though we've had to bring in all of our ingredients on the ferry. 
but I'm totally here for it. got some chicken curry, tofu curry. We got options. Thank you, Chef Mia. Yeah. It looks delicious. The water right now on the lake is like super, super glassy. So now it's the perfect time to get on the paddle boards. Yeah. Now that's a good workout in the morning. glyphs from I think they said five to six thousand years ago right that's what the ranger said it's amazing and then you have of course some graffiti because people are awful The sauce does have a good amount of garlic, but there's the garlic. It's right here. Oh. Try 
Should I start off with two? That is a plate of chilaquiles. Some camp chilaquiles. Oh, it's David's so like, good. Did I, did I smile right? <laughs> let, let me try it again. <laughs> Take two. Take two. <laughs> How's everyone liking it? Delicious. Thumbs up. Oh, yeah. Aw, oh, yeah. Thumbs up. $5. Thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, they're like, um, there's only five for digital, Yours isn't like, quite ready, but still this. thumbs up. Uh -huh. So we have all been just chilling, trying to digest that massive, delicious lunch that we had. And now we're going to get on the bus, go back up to the river that you saw us riding our bicycles by yesterday. We're going to attempt to paddleboard it. It's a class one rapid, so this should be interesting. Now this, uh, this stretch of the river that we're about to run, it's a little bit more intense than the paddleboard session we had earlier today. <laughs> Wish us luck. Phew.
That one was sick. <laughs> it's a lot better than the first big one. <laughs> Phew! <laughs> and back into the lake we go. Phew! All right, guys, we successfully completed the Whitewater River Run. It was so much fun, such a blast. I'm sure the footage speaks for itself. You guys have to uh, check out the last meal that we've made here. This might be the best one yet. Last meal, no. kind of. Last full meal. <laughs> what do we got going on here? Check that out. Some stewed beef. Stewed beef. Or pork. Pork. pork, I mean. Oh my gosh, y'all were really quick to be like, <laughs> it's pork! <laughs> <laughs> How dare wow. you? This is... How dare you mix up the food of our ancestors? <laughs> <laughs> Looks great, thank you V and yeah, David, yeah. wherever you are. <laughs> thank you David. Oh, there you are. <laughs> yeah, you bring stuff thing to, to reuse say here. and Isaac just breaks it, so... That's right. Is there mm -hmm. onions in that jar? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, folks, the trip is officially coming to an end. Today is the last morning. As you can see, we are mostly packed up. It was an awesome trip. Sad it's coming to an end, but lots of fun nonetheless. Okay, so I just wanted to quickly hop on here to give a little bit more of a formal ending to the video, as well as some final thoughts. Now clearly this was a much different style film than you're used to seeing on this channel, and that's mainly because I was with eight other people. Now, I'm typically just traveling solo, filming solo, so the whole process was quite strange and a little bit tricky in, in all honesty. Now, I wasn't going to even film this trip originally, but last minute I did decide I was just gonna bring my camera, get some footage here and there, and that way I could put together a video for you guys. But on that note, the normal content will resume very soon as per usual. Until then, thank you guys, like always for watching. You guys go out there, go on some adventures of your own, live life, beat the status quo, y'all on the trail. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. I couldn't get over enough. Huh? Keep paddling. I couldn't get over to the line I was looking at. I like started going that way and I was like, oh shit, I'm going way faster than I thought. <laughs> that was gnarly. I thought I was going in that rapid for sure. Yeah, so does that. <laughs>